Hey guys, so today we're out in Squamish. Um, I'm actually out here for a location scout just for a commercial that I'm shooting, but I thought why not bring a couple of my cameras and a couple of rolls of film and make a video out of it. I'm excited to show you guys my favorite spots around here along the back roads and along the rivers and whatnot. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. So the first camera I'm using is gonna be the Canon A1. I uh, absolutely love this camera. I picked it up a few months ago and honestly can't put it down. It's my main main shooter for the last little bit here. I got the 28 2.8 on it. I uh, really love this lens. Uh, I've only really been shooting 50 mils on film cameras for quite a while. So it was a really nice switch up to be able to shoot something a bit wider so I can capture those landscapes that require a bit of a wider lens. So today we're gonna be loading Portra 400 into this. Next camera here is the Canon AF35M2. It's got the 38 millimeter 2.8 on it. Um, been wanting kind of a point and shoot for a while now. Yeah, I got it and I don't regret it at all. It's been really fun to shoot with. I'm gonna be loading some Kodak Gold 200 in this. So some really nice fog just rolled in here. First shot I'm gonna take is on the point and shoot. Get the A1 as well. Really nice scene right here with my truck and in the mountains and whatnot. Close up here with my truck. It's so nice to be out here. It's always a treat to, to come out here and keep exploring my backyard and whatnot. There's this one shot that I kind of want to get over here. Oh wow. This is beautiful. That's a banger, for sure. Okay, now on to the next stop. Keep getting distracted. So this fog right now is too good. So I had to pull over and get a shot. Oof. You'll see in a lot of my work, I like to shoot, you know, a lot of things that have leading lines in them, especially roads or trails or anything kind of like that. I'm just really attracted to it. It guides the eye eye down as well and it just makes out for like a really beautiful photo. It's like little waterfall here. It's really cool. Just spotted this part in the road here where it kind of, it like winds. And uh, yeah, I had to, to, I had to pull over and take a shot. There's the light rays I've been waiting for. That is beautiful.
just arrived to our next spot here in Squamish. Absolutely love this area. It's, you know, rivers, mountains, you know, logging roads and trails and stuff. It's a beautiful area and stoked to be out here shooting it. Awesome. Awesome possum. As you guys can see, I am, we're in a bunch of snow. <laughs> I tried to, tried to take you to one of my favorite spots and realized that it's literally snowed in. Look at this, absolutely incredible. You got the, the beautiful like moss hanging down, the road and the mountain. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. Whew. Put my truck in there just to give the image a little bit something extra. It gives it a way for you to kind of understand the scale of these like giant mountains too, right? And like this like little truck just kind of sitting there and it's like, makes the mountains feel bigger than they actually are, which I think adds a lot to photos when you can kind of demonstrate that. So that's kind of why I have um, the truck in there. I think I'm going to be finishing off the the rolls here. I think this is prime a prime spot for the last couple photos. Woo! That's it on the point and shoot. I think I'm going to do a couple closer ones here with the truck, using kind of the truck and adding like a layer. Boom. Thanks. Splash me. Woo. Love that shot. Okay, I think I got one more shot left. I'm gonna save it and see if I see anything just while we're driving back. But so far that is it's pretty much a wrap for this. What a sick day. Hope you guys enjoy this video. And remember to toss this video a like, leave a comment if you have any questions or if you uh, enjoyed it. Um, and remember to subscribe. Uh, it really helps me out as a really small channel here trying to grow a bit. So yeah, thank you.